Hi there, this is Jason McConnell, and this is part one of a two-part video where I'll take an image of lace, I'll clean it up, put it in repeat, remove the background, and then I'll bring it into Illustrator in the second part and make it a brush. So the first thing that I'll do is desaturate this image. It's not really an important step, but it might make it easier to recolor things later. So I'll do Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. That'll remove any different colored pixels in there. And then up next, I'd like to remove this textured background. Maybe it was a piece of paper or something behind the lace. So I can go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And to remove those light grays in the background, I'll just move my white slider to the left. And you'll see that it starts to get rid of those light gray pixels. And I'll add a little bit of contrast by taking this left black slider and moving it to the right. And maybe I'll adjust the mid slider to the left a little bit to make it a little bit lighter. And hit OK. Up next, the image is a little bit soft. So what I'll do is I'll go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. And if you don't have Photoshop CC, you can go to Unsharp Mask. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of Sharpen to this to make it stand out a little bit more. The good thing about the Smart Sharpen is that you have this Reduce Noise option here. Uh, you won't really notice it much with this lace, but uh, it's a nice option to have. And I'm removing Gaussian Blur. Then I'll hit OK. All right, so it's a lot more sharp. Next up, you'll notice that the lace kind of falls off from left to right, so let's straighten this out. I can go underneath the eyedropper. You'll find the ruler tool. And you can click from one point to the other. And then once you lay that line out, you can come to the top info bar and click Straighten Layer. And it'll straighten your layer according to whatever the angle was that you uh, dragged out with the ruler tool. Right, next up, if you don't have your rulers out, it's Command R. And then once you have your rulers, I'm going to try to map out where the repeat is of the lace. So I have a vertical guide here, maybe a vertical guide here. And that's about where my lace repeats. So now I'll take my crop tool and I'll crop to these guides. Hit return. Okay, so we're almost done here. Now, the problem is that this isn't really in repeat. It might be pretty close, but the edges probably aren't matching up perfectly. So we're gonna use a filter on this so we can kind of wrap the sides around and you can fix up where the edges were. Just to show you how this works, I'll take a brush and I'll just put a couple dots here. before I do uh, this filter, just so you can see how it works. And then you go to Filter, Other, Offset. And I'll start with zero so you can kind of see. Now as I move my horizontal offset to the right, you see where the dots are moving? Where the edges were are now wrapping around to somewhere in the middle which is exactly what we want because now we can just fix up this edge in the middle here and once we do that everything will be in repeat so let me exit out of that and I'll undo my brush strokes and let's go back in filter other offset and this is about right I see that my seam is right here in the middle We'll hit OK it's actually really good and I'll zoom in and now we can fix up this seam here. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. You can paint this in, you can copy different parts. Like if I had a good piece of mesh in the background, I could paste it over top. But another good thing you can do is select it with your lasso. Make sure there isn't too much feather. I usually choose anti-alias for this. And then go up to Edit, Fill, and use Content Aware and hit OK. And it did pretty good up here, not so much down here, so maybe I'll circle this down here. Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and there you go. It's really amazing what it can do just on its own. There's a little bit of an issue here. So I'll do another Edit, Fill, Content Aware, 
and maybe this patch right here. All right, so it really does a great job. And let's say that's good for now. Okay, so now this is actually in repeat. The one thing that we might want to do is scoot this bigger flower over to the middle. Just because if you're going to make a brush in Illustrator, you can do auto corners. And it might look better if the flower, the big flower is in the middle. So I'm going to do filter, other, offset again. And I'll just nudge this over so the big flower is pretty much in the middle. Okay, the last step is to remove the background. And there's lots of ways to do it. You can use the magic wand or color range. Uh, but what I like to do for these is to double click the background. And you'll see this section on the bottom called Blend If. If you move the right slider for this layer, you'll notice, if I zoom in, that it starts to get rid of the background. And you don't want to go too far. So I'll find a nice sweet spot there. And then to make the transition a little bit smoother, some of these get a little bit chunky. If you hold the Option or Alt key, you can split your bar here. That'll kind of smooth the transition between the background and the remaining pixels. So we'll hit OK. And then the last thing to do is save it. So I'll save it. You can save as Photoshop or TIFF. And we'll hit Save and hit OK. All right, so that's it for this video. This lace is ready to go and to be used as a brush in Illustrator. So be sure to check out that video too. Thanks for watching.